When it comes to customer support, there is really only one thing that your customers want. Do you know? Do you want to know? Okay, okay, chill. I'll get to it. The only thing the customers care about when it comes to customer support is getting what they want immediately. Disclaimer, we're talking about customer support here, not customer service, which is based on the experience you give your customers. The tips I'm going to mention today will help you get them exactly what they want as fast as possible. You should think of each support ticket as a red alert and not as something you'll leave for later. I've said too much already. Let's get into it. Number one, know your customers. In customer service, knowing your customer can revolve around several things, like which communication channels they prefer, why do they like them, how satisfied are they with your customer service, and much more. As for customer support, it's a bit different. You need to be able to read them with two monitors in between you and them. And how are you supposed to do that? Let's try to base this on a scenario that we might be familiar with. How often do you go to your favorite pub or restaurant where the bartender knows your name and favorite drink? They'll change the channel on the TV for you without asking since they already know that you are really into football but aren't exactly a big fan of basketball. They know you, they see you, and they appreciate you. Now let's take this into customer support. You won't be able to remember everything about all customers who, let's say, come to chat, but tools can do that for you. With all the info about a specific customer in front of you, you must personalize the conversation. I'm making that sound easier than it actually is. However, if you know your customers well, then it can lead to an open gateway for personalizing the conversation and getting to know them in a way that the tools might not be able to. For example, the words they choose to use, the way in which they approach a certain issue, and what type of customer they are. And after really getting to know your customer, you'll be able to personalize the conversation with them more and more. You see, the key and the ultimate goal is to get to know them as people, not as buyers. Number two, understand what your customers really need. Let's be honest here, you have to listen to your clients. More than that, you have to be an active listener. Active listening is when you engage in the conversation, are responsive, and reflect on what someone has said. As a customer support representative, you should actively respond and reflect on what the customer is saying and make them feel like they matter because they do. You are the closest they have to a face-to-face -face conversation with your company. With this comes what I call the hunting technique. The hunting technique is being able to look through the looking glass of what the customer is saying to find what they actually mean by it. The package arrived all mashed up, but the product seems to be working. I've sent a picture to your company's email. We know that it's not your company's fault that the package got mashed up in delivery. You've got to go to the courier company for that. However, they aren't telling you this to hear and... I'm sorry that your package got mashed up in delivery. Please let us know if there are any issues with the product. They are coming to you with this because they are upset that the package didn't arrive fully intact. I mean, who likes a mashed up package? You've got to understand what they actually mean, what they want by saying this, and what they are hoping to receive. Try this and just see their reaction. I'm so sorry that your package got mashed up in delivery. We'd like to offer a 20% discount off your next order. Please let us know if there are any issues with the product. Once again, we're sorry for the inconvenience. The customer receives empathy, understanding, and a small token of care. Number three, know your product. Customer support representatives have to, like really have to be an expert and know all the nooks and crannies of the company's product. Like I said in the beginning, customers want and expect a fast response. Hence, no customer support rep has the time to be looking through several manuals to find it. Therefore, retake the onboarding course, ask more than enough questions, and be present at all the company presentations to learn about all the new features. Of course, there can be complicated questions that you just sometimes don't know the answer to, and that is understandable. But make sure you tell the client that you're currently searching for the answer and not just leave them be. Number four, have scenarios for the most common issues. If your company doesn't do this, you'll want to start a new tradition. You see, by having scenarios for the most common issues, you've got yourself a formula. Of course, with a twist, but still a formula. Many customer support cases repeat themselves over and over, like common questions about pricing or how do I upgrade my plan if I've just resubscribed to the basic version and so on. 
Therefore, pitch the idea to your colleagues and to whoever's in charge. There's no risk in just pitching ideas. And also, to be honest with you, it's a fudging good one. Here's an example. Do you have a shipping option to the US? And what are the rules for shipping large size purchases? By creating scenarios for these issues, you'll save a lot of time. And you'll have a satisfied customer who received a fast response. Number five, don't speak like you're having tea with the queen. If the way you speak with your customers isn't part of your brand, then you should definitely adjust it to the etiquette. Imagine that a company greets you on their website like this. Good afternoon, madam. How may I be of acquaintance to you this lovely morning? Is it a specific product you're looking for? Or would you prefer that I'd recommend something that might be of interest to you? So I think you know what not to do. I mean, unless you're selling vintage treasures, if not, then keep it short and simple, please. You really don't need to complicate your replies. It will take longer to type and also longer for the customer to read. So make your job and your customer's lives easier by offering shorter answers. If you need to explain how to do something, try to split your reply up a bit. One sentence, one step. This makes your replies easier to follow. Take a look for yourself. Call Batman. Tell him to meet you in Gotham and make sure he comes alone. Also, don't forget to give him the secret password. Call Batman. Tell him to meet you in Gotham. Tell him to come alone. Don't forget to give him the secret password. Number six, shortcuts are your soulmate. When handling support cases, you need to perform certain actions tens or even hundreds of times each day. So think about how much time you could save if you could make those actions a bit faster with keyboard shortcuts. For example, instead of clicking on a visitor portrait to bring up a different chat, you could simply use a shortcut that would switch you to the next chat. Number seven, get a second lifeboat. If you're looking into additional data to speed up conversations with customers, then I definitely recommend displaying it on another monitor. You can have your chat, email, or help desk on one screen at all times to quickly react to new inquiries and use the other monitor to look up data on customers, check your website, and all the other things you need to do to offer your customers fast responses. Number eight, make it easier with tools. If you want to provide fast responses to your customers, you will need a tool that will allow you to clean the mess in your mailbox and reply to all those customer questions. You will need a tool that will turn a tweet, a Facebook comment, an email, or an old fashioned online form into an issue report in a second. And you will need to provide customer support in real time. Live chat and help desk can help you with all of that and more. Live chat allows you to communicate with your customers directly through a chat widget that tiny icon at the bottom right corner of almost every page, it can help you improve your customer support by providing conversations with your customers in real time. No waiting, no you never called me back, and no searching through the spam folder. If you want a tool that can save you from the flood of incoming emails, then you'll need help desk. Help Desk is a powerful online ticketing software, which helps solve all customer cases in an easy way. Number nine. Don't be MIA on social media. Support teams equipped with smartphones, customer service software, help desk software, and live chat usually don't have any direct access to the company's social media profiles. And that's a big no-no, since that is one of the reasons customer questions go unanswered. And yes, it really isn't easy for support teams to keep up with the users of social media, since the users have high expectations from the start and not all companies have entered the social media revolution yet. So those were the nine tips on how to improve your customer support. Now it's your turn to bring them into action. Don't forget to check out Live Chat and Help Desk. They'll be the irreplaceable helping hand you want with you at all times. The links are already there for you. See you soon.